He was playful. He was fun to be around. He was a person who came to work every day loving his job. There's this sense of fun and creativity and um, warmness that he brought here. He, he was also just really fun. He can have like the teacher quality that makes everybody listen to him, which I think is a really good quality to have. But also, he can say he can be really funny. He so embodied what all of us at Leslie Ellis think about every single day. And I would want people to know that about him. Well, I think John's legacy at this school is, the first thing that comes to mind is anti-bias and how that's so much a part of who we are as a school. Um, that was very much a part of John. Can't separate Leslie Ellis from John and vice versa. You couldn't, to know John, you know, he loved the school. It was, you know, one of his passions in his life. So I think the two are kind of uh, inseparable. The three areas in terms of his legacy that come to mind are the arts, anti-bias, and technology. He was always the kind of person that would like try and make everyone always happy and try and find compromises where everyone felt good with what they were doing. And I see a lot of that now in the school after, even after he's gone. And I think that that's probably his legacy. I think his legacy is, or his influence, is like a role model for upcoming teachers. He has a really special quality that not many teachers, I think, have. And it was great to see how funny he is and also how he helped engage with his students and really made them feel special, which I think is the greatest feeling in the world for a student. John is an extraordinary teacher. I think he was an extraordinary mentor to a lot of people who came into the community as new teachers, but he was an extraordinary teacher. He loved what he did. He was such a creative teacher. Um, it was pretty amazing to watch. He didn't judge kids, and he made parents feel at ease, and he made parents feel like he wanted to be doing what he was doing. And I think it's because he did want to be doing what he was doing. So I think his legacy is really in that, in the creativity, in the child-centeredness that we have here and in the anti-bias curriculum that is really strong and that we keep revisiting. He was just so friendly and hilarious that he made all the teachers like better people in a way. He kind of lit up the school and I think that left behind because now when we think of him we imagine a really bright happy place. Well at least I do and now we want that to live on. He just brought joy to learning um, and he was incredibly versatile as a teacher. There are just pieces of John all over the school that I still see. And the importance of just making Leslie Ellis a school for everyone, accessible for everyone. He was also kind of a Pied Piper. I mean, kids really just loved him. I think I've heard people say that, um, you know, John was so comfortable at Leslie Ellis because he could be who he wanted to be. But I think equally important, in fact, perhaps more important, was that he made everybody else comfortable being who they wanted to be or who they were. I think the thing I would want people to know about John is the care, the laughter, the joy, and the love of what he did, the love he had for this place, for the community, for the students, for teaching in general, for learning. He was such joy, I think. He did sort of skip down the hallways. He made people laugh. He made kids laugh. He made parents laugh. People loved him. They smiled when they saw him. And that was a big part of who he was. 
I think it was why he was so loved, is so loved by so many of us who knew him. And I, I would want people to hold that.